The color review of today is accessible beige by Sherwin Williams, and as your room decor color expert, I'm going to tell you what you need to know about this color and what steps you should take that will help you from making costly mistakes. So let's go. Accessible beige has been in trending gray for a long time, but its spotlight is starting to fade. There's some new trending gray colors out there, and you can check it out in the link above me. So, the first thing that you need to know about Accessible Beige is its color. Right here is Accessible Beige by Sherwin Williams, and I want you to check out this picture over here. I want to give you a close-up so you can see what this paint color looks like in real life. And there's something else that I want you to know. All those beautiful colors that you see out there online, I want you to take it with a grain of salt because chances are it's not going to look like that in your home. There's a lot more that goes into picking the perfect paint for your home. I want to show you something. You see this right here? This is a paint chip sample of accessible beige. You can find this at any Sherwin Williams store all across North America. But Watch this. If I compare this with this real sample board right here, it's a completely different story. Why? Because the undertones of this sample board pop out. Unlike this paint chip, you're never gonna see that. Another thing that I want you to know, it depends on where you paint this color in your home, it's gonna be a completely different story. Why? Because a north and a south facing rooms will act completely different depending on the type of lighting you may have in your home. So what I want you to know is that accessible beige is somewhat of a chameleon and all those pictures that you see out there online, they're beautiful, but I want you to take it with a grain of salt. It's like Instagram. Everybody posts beautiful pictures, but no one will post a disappointing picture. Right? By the way, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information like this video right here. All right, let's get back to it. One of the most important steps that you need to make is to identify what type of undertones that you may have in your fixed or furnished items. I see this all the time. When someone goes to the paint store, they get a color, they paint it on their wall, and then a couple weeks later, they notice that something's off. Nine out of 10 times, it's because the undertones are clashing. I don't want this to happen to you. Now watch this. You see this floor tile? It has a pink undertone. It's really common in Arizona, California, or even Florida. Why? Because it's hot and it's human. So let's say that you're watching this video right here. So let's compare it with accessible beige. Now, look what happens. When you compare the accessible beige with this pink floor tile, it's gonna bring out the pink. Now imagine if you have 500 to 2,000 of these floor tiles in your living room. It's going to make your walls look green. This is not something that you want. Accessible beige, by the way, has a little bit of a green undertone. Instead, you may be better off using this color right here. It's a taupe. The taupe color is going to cool down the pink undertones that you may have in your living room. So the point is, is that it's important to compare the fixed undertones and the furnace items that you may have in your living room with accessible beige. Let me know what you think about accessible beige or if you have any experience working with this color, I would love to know in the comment section down below. And if you need help on picking the right paint colors for your home and you want it professionally done, check out the link that I'll leave in the description section down below. Until then, I will see you next week.